Hey, where are you guys going? You're thinking about taking a shower in the pond. In the waterfall. Yeah. Oh, refreshing. Right, baby? Tell me where you're going today. To Miguel Flores Studio. Yeah. What are you going to ask him? Oh, I want to know what he thinks about art being spiritual. How do you do that? How do you look at a photo and paint from it? Well, uh, and so I did take photographs of her too. And uh, so now I'm using the, the photograph as a reference, as a reference to, uh, to finish the painting. It's lovely. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Well, another artist mentioned the word spiritual. Do you? What's your thought on art being spiritual? Well, ultimately, who's asking if you or you? Oh, baby. Okay, you. And Leo wanted to know too. Yeah, Leo wants to know. I think, just as far as I know, there's what is. And then we have this need to uh, complicate it. Or actually, in this moment, you are experiencing something very, very profound and deep and all that, you know, it's all within you. Okay? And the three of us are all on the same page or something. It's just the same, we're sharing this thing. And we, we get individually, we share it in different ways. Uh -huh. You share it as a little lion, you share it as a little, I don't know what you are, but. <laughs> a, a bear, yeah. I'm a bear. Yeah. And, uh, and it's, bear. it's in the, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the now, it's happening uh -huh. now. It's not happening tomorrow, or it uh -huh. didn't happen before, it's happening right now. Uh -huh. When a painter paints, I'm going to pretend I'm painting right now, he's painting. Whether he likes it or not, he's now. He put <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Miguel. Oh, you're both here again, huh? Hi. Hey, what are you <coughs> doing? I'm cleaning up this thing. It's called, it's not a palette. It's where I put the paint, mix the paint on different than all these tubes. And these tubes are in perfect rows, like little soldiers. There's the white, and then there's the brown, and then there's the green, and then there's the red. And everything has its place in the place. Do you know what this wow. is? Wow. Yeah, yeah. See, but it's not. Oh. It's all messy. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, but I, I start, I know it should be neat, because my dad was a machinist, and his, all his tools were just perfect, oh. you know. And so yeah. to make, to do things right, Ultimately, it has to be. Here's what I'm doing now. I'm getting getting the, the whole thing. This is a this is a big machine here, and the machine makes these pictures, and I'm part of the machine, and the paints are part of the machine, and the tools. The, machine. the tools are part of the machine. This is the thing I scrape the palette with, and uh, so I, in order to do the littlest, smallest thing, I've got it ready. So, so that's what I'm doing now. Getting it ready to work. Uh -huh. okay. You know, another thing I wanted to ask you. Thank you. How do you get your ideas? Where do they come from? Yeah, I'd like to know that too. Yeah, let me see. Let me, can I take a minute? 
Michel, I'll look around too. I'll look around. These paintings were from uh, a place in France, around there years and years ago. It's painted by, these aren't painted by, but the artist that uh, had the place is called Giverny. And it's a beautiful place about thing. And we walked over that, and we're walking back along this, not the river, but the water that goes into the big pond there. And uh, you heard, I heard people talking. And on the other side where we were when we first came in, we were on the other side. And we walked around and looked over where we had been. And there were, there were two girls. One was painting and one was sitting on a bench. And they were talking. And you could tell they were French girls. And he, he said a lot of English people go there. And so years later in this studio, I was working on drawing. And you're going to ask me questions about where the ideas come from. I'm telling you. And I was this here, a drawing, and, uh, and I was drawing a girl sitting on a bench in this beautiful garden. And it was all from my, not my memory, it was all there, but I was just, it was, my hand was drawing it like that. And then I realized, oh, I've seen that girl before. And I went, turned around, and in my mind, I looked at that painting. And there's a girl sitting on the bench, and a girl painting. But I was doing this drawing of the girl sitting on the bench with a yellow, yellow dress, and she was reading a book.